Hi guys, this is Mike from Allen Heath in the UK and today we're looking at configuring your GSR24M for use with Pro Tools. We can essentially split this tutorial into two parts, that's the audio and the MIDI. The first part we're going to take a look at is the audio. If you go to Setup, Playback Engine, you can see that the current engine is set for built-in input. This is the default built-in input of the laptop that I'm using. We need to switch this to Allen & Heath Firewire. Because Pro Tools is open and already has a playback engine allocated, the application does need to restart. Push Yes, OK. Select No. If we return to Setup, Playback Engine, you can see that Allen & Heath Firewire is the currently active playback engine. With the audio engine assigned, let's now create an audio track. Go to the track menu, new, create one mono audio track. If you now look at the inputs and the outputs, the GSR24 has 32 audio channels in and out. If you go to the input menu, we take a look, we can see that the menu is a bit of a mess. If we now go to the output menu, we can see that built-in output one and two is available. Now what's happening here is Pro Tools is defaulting back to the I.O. from the previous device that we used, which was the built-in audio of our laptop. There are a number of ways of dealing with this issue, but what I recommend you do is go to Track, Delete. Now the reason we're doing this is because it makes a huge difference if you remove any tracks from your Pro Tools session that have any previous audio device I.O. allocated. If you go to Setup, I.O., now you can see all of the I.O. for our session along with the corresponding input and output labels. Now if you're ever in a situation where the I.O. for your Pro Tools session is incorrect or the labeling is incorrect, this is the method you would use to correct it. Now if you go to the input tab and push default, you can see that now all of our I.O. is correct based on the current device we're using which is the GSR24. If you do the same for the outputs, go default and the same for buses as well. and push OK. So now let's create a new audio track. Let's go to Track, New, One Mono Audio Track, Create. If we take a look at the input menu, we can see that we've got 32 inputs. And if we go to the output menu, 32 outputs. Now, had I not deleted the track prior to going to the I.O. tab, the previous device I.O. would have been added on to the GSR24 I.O. So it makes your inputs and outputs menu very messy. So the choices you got are either to delete the track and then go to the I.O. tab or you could just simply unassign the audio inputs and outputs for all tracks in your current session. That's the audio configured. Now let's take a look at the MIDI. The GSR24M has 24 motorized faders. So let's go ahead now and create another 23 tracks so we can demonstrate the use of all 24 faders in a session. Go to Track new, create 23 new mono tracks, you can just type in 23, push create. To set up MIDI, we go to Setup, MIDI, Input Devices. We need to ensure that Allen & Heath Firewire ports 1, 2 and 3 are all ticked, because if they're not ticked, those MIDI inputs will not be available inside of Pro Tools, even if they're visible on your computer. Now let's go to Setup, Peripherals, MIDI Controllers. We need to set up three Huey devices. That's one for each bank of eight faders. So if you go to Type, change it to Huey, Receive Port, Allen & Heath Firewire Port 1, Send Port, Allen & Heath Firewire Port 1. Now repeat this process another two times each time shifting the Firewire port up by one. So go to Huey, Allen Heath Firewire port two, Allen Heath Firewire port two, Huey, Allen Heath Firewire port three, Allen Heath Firewire port three. So that's it, that's all three Huey devices configured. And that gives us three banks of eight, which gives us our 24 MIDI controllable faders. Push OK and that's the configuration complete. Move some faders on the GSR24 and you'll see the faders move inside Pro Tools. Likewise, 
If you move the faders in Pro Tools, you'll see the faders move on the GSR24. So there you have it, configuring your GSR24M for use with Pro Tools. Thanks for watching, goodbye. Thank <music> you.